my chic friends welcome back to my channel and if you're new over here my name is Lena and I share videos about luxury fashion and style so that is something that you're interested in hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my next videos today let's chat a little bit about Louis Vuitton latest women's spring summer 2024 collection what I think about it what do you think about it leave your comment down below and let's chat about all the neat and greedy about this collection number one the pochette tirette i love this bag it's very simple it's very classy i think it looks super chic i like the silhouette i like the line it's very it's a pochette i like the slushy touch so it's not a structured bag and it comes in monogram canvas monogram also in leather i really like it it have this little um, the Louis Vuitton lock on the front close to the Louis Vuitton tab I think it looks pretty cute this bag retails at 1980 American dollars US dollars plus tax of course number two Dauphine soft GM I love the Dauphine collection I own the Dauphine capital it's a very structured bag with a vintage touch all the Dauphine are very structured. I love the combination of the canvas, reverse monogram also, and the leather. I like the tricolor um, vibe. I think it looks really cute. Some people said it's very hard to match because of the three type of browns, but I love it. Now, this new Dauphine Soft GM is not a structure as the other Dauphines. It comes with this lushy touch. I think it gives a different vibe, different concept. I think it looks very cute for daily wear. It's a bigger bag. I love that comes with the, um, the chain and the strap. Actually, this Dauphine doesn't come with the tricolor. It just comes with the leather trim and the vachetta and the regular canvas. This bag retails at 4,450 US dollars plus tax, of course. Now, another um, Dauphine that came in this latest collection is the Dauphine Soft MM. This bag comes in orange. I think it looks pretty cute, especially if you're a color lover. Black, black, you know what I think about black bags. You can't go wrong with black bags. And white. The white is super beautiful. I don't know, I think I have a trauma with white bags, but if you like them, I think the Dauphine Soft and MM in white look beautiful these dauphines are in leather they are mm meaning they're smaller than the gm because they're medium and retailed at the same price 4450 us dollars plus tax okay now let's talk a little bit with the bags let's give a stop and i need to mention this because the allure slim back pumps i think they look fabulous i'm a slim back lover i think they look super chic super classic and these ones are very cute i love them they're black they're super they could dressy you can style them casual too i think this is a piece that never goes out of style in my opinion slim bags i think they're good this um slim back pumps retails at 1170 US dollar plus taxes. So I know we're talking about handbags, but I want to mention these slim bags. Next bag is the Around Me PM. We saw this in the runaway uh, show. It looks beautiful. I love the round with the tag. I think it looks super cute because of the shape. I don't think we're gonna be able to put too many things in there, but but it looks super nice in my opinion. The monogram one um, retails for 3,200 US dollars plus tax and also comes in black and white, which I think it looks very stunning. And this one retails at $4,450 looks very unique with the huge LV so if you're not into 
uh, quite luxury this bag is for you next bag vanity cases i don't know how you feel about vanity cases for me they look cute if i see it to somebody i see like oh my god it looks so beautiful but i think they're not practical at all why because when you open and you just open all the zipper around it's gonna like open and everything is gonna fall uh, for me for me I tried once a Chanel vanity case and with me, no. I said, this is a no, no. I'm in the, doing something and I open and this is gonna just, everything is gonna fall up. So I said, no. The vanity chain pouch is a little bit slimmer than the regular vanity case, a little bit slimmer. And it comes with this cute lock and the chain and the monogram with the with the leather it looks super cute it really does so if you're a vanity um case fan and you like that type of bags this is super cute this bag retails at 2600 us dollars plus tax so there you go this next bag that i'm going to talk about i I knew that was coming, but I never saw a picture. So I know it was coming and I was so excited. I was like wondering, oh my God, how this bag is gonna be? Because I love the, the bag. But when I saw the photo, it's not what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. I really don't know, but it's not what I was expecting. And it's the Alma backpack. I think it looks cute because let's be honest, I love the shape of the Alma bag. And it comes with these thing straps. You can remove them. They're removable. But, but, I don't know. I'm not gonna wear it as a backpack. If I buy it, I'm not gonna wear it as a backpack. I have the Palm Springs Mini and I don't wear it as a backpack. I wear a crossbody. So, I don't know. If you don't wear it as a backpack, how that's gonna look? Because yes, it's the Alma, it have the same shapes with the base and everything, but it's so long, it's a big rectangle. So I don't think as a top handle, it's gonna look good. So I don't know. So when I saw it, I'm like, oh, this is not what I was expecting. I don't know, don't ask me what I was expecting, but it, it's, it's not this. So it comes in monogram with the Vachetta leather and retails at $2,470. This Alma backpack comes in epi leather too. It comes in two colors, the black. I think the black looks super dressy, very nice. If you like epi leather, good. But same thing, it comes with the straps. So if you don't wear it as a backpack and you use grab it top handle, I think it looks like a humongous rectangle there, like very, I don't know. It gave me like a, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, an orange, the orange, very nice. If you wanna add a pop of color. And this bags retail at 2,700 US dollars plus tax. I have so, so many, oh my God. My expectations were like over here. And when I saw the photo, I was like, oh no, no, for me, no better get a regular alma right okay another cute bag if you're into very tiny bags is the pico go 14 super cute it comes in black and orange they're super super cute but super super tiny i'm not no yet because you know things can change and the luxury world the taste can change sometimes you say oh, i don't like this and then you need to eat your own word so I'm not sure yet, but I'm not like a 100% sold with the Go 14. But if you like it and you like tiny bags, the Go 14 in black or orange are super cute. This bag next is, oh my God, if you're a collector, I don't consider myself a collector. I'm just consider myself a handbag lover, but no collector. This bag, the pick trunk, oh my God, super cute is a camera so i think it looks very beautiful and it has like the um, the case and the big lv such a statement piece such a statement piece i'm telling you you wear that bag everybody's gonna be like what is that for sure and if you're a collector it's worth it 
This bag retails at $9,900 and this is the less expensive one. So let's not go with the other. So $9,900 US dollars plus tax. Another version, another model for the Alma and it's the Alma 103. It's the like Solushi, you have the Solushi big vibe. It's a big handbag with the Solushi, have this little straps at the front with the studs. I think it looks super cute super cute because you know the Alma is very structured have very this iconic structure shape this Alma 103 is very slushy I think it looks very cute but the problem is $9,903 of course they're leather but still $9,300 US dollars plus tax it's gonna be a no for me but the bags are super cute it comes in black and also comes in a cream it's like a, they call it rose beige and the straps are in brown one of my favorite bags of this collection because i think it looks different and also looks very functional is the carry all dark mm love it full black an all black look with a little tag and monogram it looks beautiful i think this bag as an everyday bag is very good i really really like it this bag comes at 3800 us dollars plus tax another variation of the bag is a little bit is like 3500 dollars so 300 dollars less and is the carry all cargo pm okay so a little bit smaller and white cargo it comes with this edgy chain and also pockets on the side i'm assuming the cargo is like the cargo pants with pockets it looks very cute too the carry all cargo pm i love the bag the pm and the mm cargo and no cargo i love both another bag is the kusam bb and a sequin version it coming with leather and sequins if you are a kusan fan I am, I love it. I love the puffiness. I love the, the big chunky chain. I love the vibe. If you are a Kusan lover, you're gonna like it. It comes with all these sequins and leather and retails at 5,600 US dollars plus tax. Now let's talk about two bags that for me are a no-no, but not because I don't like them. I think they look very unique. One is the Alma trunk gorgeous super structure but with the iconic trunk signature the base have the metal parts and the studs and it has the closure like the poche matisse like the trunk closure i think it looks out of this world but but retails at twelve thousand four hundred us dollars american dollars plus tax so I don't think I can get it, but I think it looks stunning. And last but not least, this piece, I think it looks super beautiful. If you're a collector, this is not a bag for you to carry around, go buying groceries. But if you're a collector and you love unique pieces and you are a Paris lover or you're very enthusiastic about Paris in general, the Triumphal Arch is out of this world because is the resemblance of the Arc de Triomphe. I'm sorry if my French is not good. And it's super cute. I love it. I think if I will have, because it's 40,000 US dollars plus tax, if I had the spare money, I would get it just to see it in there and remind me of Paris. Tell me what do you think about this Louis Vuitton Women's Spring Summer 2024 collection that just launched on March 1st. Tell me your thoughts, what bags got your attention. Tell me, I love to read you guys. Leave your comment down below. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, do you know what to do? Give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my next videos. That is totally free to you but it means the world to me because it helps my channel to grow also don't forget to follow me on instagram fashion of lena when i share my daily life 
more style and fashion content. So if you're interested in, Instagram is the place. As always, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and see you on my next video. Bye.